Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. This is video number two of the April 13th, 2023 shipment. I just videoed, I think, nine vehicles and uh, perhaps it was eight. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just did eight vehicles, nine, 10, 11. Uh, so I am, uh, and I picked two more at the port up yesterday. So I'm going to do five remaining vehicles and, um, I, uh, I, um, two Subarus, a Honda, a Mitsubishi and a Suzuki. So let's see what's in store, uh, for these five vehicles. So the first is a Honda. Pretty cool looking wheels. Nice Bridgestones. Yeah, nice aluminum rims. Okay, there is the VIN number. And the front of the truck looks good. It does have a little, you can see right there, a little surface rust there. It's not cancer, but um, everything else looks good. The bumper is very nice. The top of the truck is dirty, but nice. And I can tell you that aside from a little ding right there, or a dent, a dent right there, the door is in exceptional shape. It is dirty, but straight. The bedside has a little ding right there, but looks very nice. The tires are exceptional. Bridgestone with aluminum rims, and they're nice. The, the rims look beautiful. The rear of the vehicle, the plastic is in very uh, shiny. Uh, looking good it has one ding right there from the inside out huh. there you go it has a ding from the inside out right there so all the tires look nice they're all the same and this door is 100 percent very nice let's look underneath the bed mat and let's take a look at the uh, engine cover all right so that is really really nice beautiful very very nice condition it's um <clears throat> it's solid and under here it's just beautiful that's dirt. Just really good shape. And I will look under the other corner of the bed mat also. Yeah, no surprise. Look at that. Just pretty as can be. So far, pretty good marks. We do have a, a seat split right there. Other than that, it, the interior looks to be very nice. We've got a dirty headrest, but it looks good. So that can be cleaned up, no problem. <clears throat> The door panel looks good. Again, you know, a little chalky. You can see <clears throat> where the driver rests his foot on the door. And then the habit of the driver was when they get in, they rub their calf as they get in and that paint rubs off. Slide your butt in the seat when you get in. And now you have nice shiny sheet metal right there. And uh, so that's the uh, habit 
of the driver. And uh, let's look at the floorboard here. Ooh, that. That is probably going to mean more than anything else in the whole video. That black stuff right there is adhesive. And you have a snap here that goes onto that there. Um, looks really nice under here. Uh, let's take a look at the bottom of this door. So that is surface rust only. Everything looks pretty good under there. That's dirt. Looks nice. Looks really good under there. This is tough to see on a Honda, this part, because it's just blocked by so many different things. But wait, we can see. It does look good. And here's the best part of all. I'm kind of saving this for last on purpose. That, my friends, is about 18,000 original miles. That is just fantastic. Let's see if the battery's good and if we can start it. You always want to check and make sure it's in neutral. Ooh. Starts nicely. So this is a, a nice Honda four-wheel drive mini truck. The only thing is the seat is split. and uh, But as far as integrity, it's really nice and low miles. High marks on that truck. Nice tires on this one. Okay, <clears throat> there's the VIN number. Got a little... Couple somehow a couple drops of paint dropped on that at some point in its lifetime, and uh, the front of the truck is very very nice, straight as an arrow, nice and straight there. Interesting markers. I think that's factory. I think that's from the dealership. I don't think. That just looks too good to be aftermarket. I don't know, but that's my take. A homeowner or a purchaser, typically, we are not capable uh, of doing something that nice unless you're really experienced. This door is excellent. Beautiful door, beautiful front. The side panel, hmm, looks really good. That's fantastic tailgate no dings got surface rust down here below the tailgate but that's just surface rust there's no rust through there so that's good oh here's the part i like to do is check these things all four of your washers look good so now let's see if my I mean, so far it was nice, and the bed is nice. Let's look right here in the seam. So these are just dirt. Um, all this is just dirt right here. So that is clean, clean, clean. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just a I just something nicked the paint and so it's discolored a little uh, surface rust there but um, let's look at the rest this door well they touched up with touch-up paint there right on top of it. so if you want you can get a scraper and scrape that touch-up paint back off and reveal the nice decal not a decal it's actually painted on underneath same thing there they dabbed it to prevent any rust so somebody was fastidious about their truck there we go pretty solid under here looks nice 
Boy, I like those tires. Those are Yokohama. Huh. So you do, I saw a little dent like right there, just a pop. This has a locking gas cap. The ignition key does open that. And the door looks excellent. I did mention how they dabbed some paint on it to prevent some rust. So here we have a separation. It's not really a seat tear. It's the stitching has let go. And uh, you could reconnect that if you had one of those curved needles. Or take it to an upholstery shop and ask them to repair it or, or just recover it. And, uh, and then you have a tear here also. So, um, and this is a four wheel drive. I like that the Subaru has some storage behind the seats. But this, this truck is in such good condition. And also, if you look places like here, that means a lot. You know, we've got some dirt under here, but no big deal there. Look at that. So nice. But here's the best part of all. Look at that. Da, 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 da. 20,362 kilometers. That, my friends, that's like 13,000 original miles. What a beautiful, beautiful specimen of a truck. I really like that. Okay, next. Subaru Sambar. Really nice tires. Beautiful Bridgestones. Kind of a combination between on-road and off-road. So this Subaru VIN number is right there. The front looks magnificent. Subaru bumpers aren't black. Um, they're kind of, you can see the, the pattern of the resin when they poured the bumper. Uh, and that's just Subaru. That is how Subaru is. So it's not a factory defect or anything. But the front, it's dirty, but straight as a pin, not a ding. All right. Looking good up there. The door has a scratch there and a tiny scratch there. But it looks really nice. Now, let's look down the bedside. Not a single ding on the bedside. Boy, those are nice tires. Okay, we have a dent right there, like an apricot size. Good looking tailgate. Very nice. Other than that one dent right there. This bedside is absolutely phenomenal. What a beautiful, beautiful bedside. Nice. All four tires are the same. They all look good. Ooh, look at the bed. So again, the child's evaluation technique shows a nine out of ten. <laughs> oh, look at this bed, guys. Look at this bed. Is that not magnificent or what? Another thing that's nice is the little, you know, rubber seal around the engine cover. But we really don't even need to look at the rest of the truck. Because a child's evaluation technique has just said 9.5 out of 10. That's a pretty good truck. All right. So, little dent there and there. Not too bad, but you need to know about it. Bindley. Hello, Bindley. Yes. Bindley is thinking this whole place exists for her when customers come 
she gets playful. So don't let her jump on you. Okay, so the seat is torn and you can either recover it or not, but it is torn. The passenger seat, as is typically the case, looks great. The door looks excellent. It does have a slight snag right there. Doesn't look like anybody ever used that. Door panel over there looks excellent. And this looks excellent. Beautiful. Boy, this is nice. It has a trip odometer. So, doesn't seem like the trip odometer works. Um, so, I don't know what this says. There's an arrow there. Ah. gas. Nice. Come on. Stay running. It is kind of empty too. Sounds good. 38,000 367 kilometers, which is like 24,000 original miles. Really nice. The only thing is the seat is torn. The rest of the truck looks beautiful. I mean, really nice. All right, let's look at the two remaining trucks. These are work grade trucks. And um, the first one is a Suzuki. Um, here is the VIN number. The front is dirty, but ding free. The door is ding free. Tire looks good. Very good. The bed side just has some specs on it, but actually it's quite straight. Got a, a dent right there and a ding right there. Beautiful bedside, really, really straight. Let's look underneath and see what we've got under here. Always important to look underneath the bed mats. So here we have a little bit of rust right there, right there. A little surface rust there. Looks good under there. The back of the cab looks good. Just surface rust from, you know, exposure. The door actually looks pretty nice. And again, the tires on this side look good. All right, let's check out the inside. Dead battery. It's typical though. Door panel looks very nice. 58,868 kilometers. The seats look good. So this is a, and that door panel over there looks good too. So this is a nice truck. That looks good under there. Uh, this is a five speed, four wheel drive, extra low first gear, good looking truck. Um, you know, like I said, it does have that rust spot there and then that other one over there. But that's about it. So this thing looks pretty good. This Mitsubishi 
it's got a few things about it that I want to point out. There's the VIN number, the corrected version. <laughs> so it's got some scratches, scratches, not there, there's a dent. The door has a dent right there. So I, I call this a work grade truck because it's got stuff like that. The bedside panel looks good. The tailgate looks good. This bedside panel has a scrape there and the bedside pin is not attached on this side what happens is they leave this up for years and years and years and somebody comes along and says oh i want to fold this down and this has been in the same position that's metal on metal that pin in there is metal on the metal loop and it's rusted solid and then they just break this off of here because it won't articulate and turn inside there. So a little lubrication goes a long way, but that's what happened. Uh, you also have a little rust right there. That's what the underside of the vehicle looks like. Actually, I wish the top side looked this good. So looks beautiful. Hmm. Very nice underneath. Um, the door has a scrape there, and so I may have been a little too hard on this truck. It's not that bad. Well, yeah, it is. Look, I hate rust. I really do, but... It's so hard. And I've been buying thousands and thousands of mini trucks sometimes. And you don't, you know, they just don't show you. They don't tell you. And you can't, you know, they run it through the auction at 20 seconds. It's, a, it's gone. So you really have to be careful that you're bidding on a truck that's at an auction house that does a good job. Not all of them do a good job disclosing everything you would like to know about the truck. So this is what I call a work grade truck, primarily because of that rust spot right there on the engine cover. It's not on the bed, it's just on the cover. But nevertheless, there you go. The door panel looks good, just dirty. That'll be cleaned up. Nice, looks good under there. The seat is separated. That can be brought back together. Thirty-four six thirty-six kilometers. If this battery is bad, we'll replace it. This is a five-speed with a two-speed transfer case. That's one of the really nice things about Mitsubishi's is. They are what I would dub the utilitarian mini truck. They, so I guess, yeah, you know, somebody says, what's the best mini truck? You can't really answer that with integrity uh, because it really depends what the use of the mini truck is for. So there is no, what's the best mini truck? It depends. If you have a work application in mind, Mitsubishi is nice, as is the Dahatsu and Suzuki, but the Mitsubishi always has a two-speed transfer case. They spent extra money on that. Uh, and so that was where their importance lies, uh, was some engineer was like, oh, we got to do that. Uh, well, with Suzuki and Dahatsu, you may get a two-speed transfer case. If it's a four-speed, you'll get high and low. And the Dahatsu might be one through five, no high, no two-speed transfer case, or one through five, two-speed transfer case, or one through four, two-speed transfer case. Um, so it's kind of 
some dahatsus vary a little bit um but uh so i like the mid engine uh on the mitsubishi suzuki and daihatsu because that engine is tucked up there out of the way if you're off road you don't have to worry about snagging it as bad i like subarus subarus are great but subarus have some um soft spots uh they have some soft spots i heard that from uh my traveling companion don he said uh subarus have some soft spots and that's a good way to put it the engine is your rear bumper on the subaru that's the biggest thing and they're um uh a sitting duck for over revving so you have to be exceedingly careful not to over rev the truck because a four cylinder subaru runs like butter you can't hear it you can't feel it and it's way in the back i have had five mini trucks and i've uh with damaged engines all five of them have been subarus everyone so that means something um and uh but they're good trucks you just have to make sure that you don't think oh i have a farm i want a subaru i would never recommend a subaru for the farm i would recommend it for asphalt um because that is its strength and um so uh anyway not to get too far off onto a rabbit trail um i would like to ask that you subscribe to our channel if you would please subscribe to our channel it helps us with our search analytics and uh then if you hit notification the bell then it will notify you when i post a video and then you'll be able to see what just came off the ship i've got a lot of trucks coming i have 63 trucks that um are about to ship i have probably 80 trucks on the water maybe 100 on the water um once again somebody said why do you have so many trucks and i don't know i i wasn't able to answer actually Don the guy writing this book uh you know he, oh uh, my traveling companion went to Miami with me to deliver a truck and uh he's writing a book on how to be a better mini truck consumer and i am all for that i mean that is that is like a home run for me is let's educate the consumer because an educated consumer is my best customer because my standards are pretty high you wouldn't know that by looking at the bed on that Mitsubishi but i try to keep high standards <laughs> oh what a terrible video but uh anyway so my standards are high even though this Mitsubishi has rust in the bed and um so an educated consumer is my best customer and uh so i'm all for don writing this book and to that end to educate the consumer and um so yeah um but those are some things with regard to the Mitsubishi Daihatsu and Suzuki and then maybe a soft spot uh or two on the Subaru but the Subaru is a nice truck not for everything so that's my point um so i won't belabor things any more than i already have uh but thank you for your interest Thank you for subscribing to our channel if you have or if you would please consider that and um also you can contact us at area code 3367779957 you can email us at sales@mayberrymini-trucks.com and check out our website at mayberrymini-trucks.com we got the law passed and signed by governor cooper making mini trucks street legal and we're very happy about that thank you representative sarah stevens and diana gay ballard for your help um and um we uh, service our trucks with full synthetic engine oil we check all the fluids if they don't idle properly we fix it if it runs hot we fix it if the charging system doesn't work we fix it if the heat doesn't work we fix it so we try to get all those things dialed in We don't just get it off the ship and put a for sale sign on it. We feel like it's responsible. It's on us to at least try to get things dialed in first because we're in the business and you're not. So you're looking to us to be uh 
the ones to uh, try to get things running properly. And we do deliver also. Um, we charge two dollars per mile one way. So if you're, you know, say 200 miles away, it's four hundred dollars and we'll bring you the mini truck and then you pay when we get there. You don't have to pay up front. Uh, some people do. They pay up front. They haven't seen it. And, you know, we're not going to we, we, we're not going to want to disappoint people. So uh, but you can pay when we get there. Just put a deposit down equal to the delivery fee. And then you pay for the truck when we arrive. We have a 100 percent. This is the last thing I promise. We we have a 100 percent track record of success, meaning um, we've never, ever once arrived with a mini truck and had somebody say, I'm not happy with that truck. I don't like that. The way we achieve that is through effective communication. This video is the first step in that communication. And if somebody sees a truck and they're like, hey, I like that truck, but I live in Vermont, um, <clears throat> so I can't come see it. Can you do me a specific video? So we run a specific video, very, even more detailed than the one I just did. And, um, and then I drive it and do an up the hill test. Does it, does, anyway, you've seen the videos probably. And um, then, we answer any questions they have over the telephone. And at that point, they've probably read our Google reviews and researched us to see if they feel like we're a legitimate company. And, um, and then, uh, yeah, and then, and then we schedule a, uh, a delivery date if they want the truck. And we show up and then they pay for the truck when, when we arrive with it. So that's worked 100% of the time. So uh, thank you for your patience. And um, feel free to get in touch with us if you have any questions. Have that VIN number handy if you want to make reference to a specific truck. And thank you for watching our video.